Hey everyone, we're here in a town called Frascinetto. We're in Piazza Frascinetto. Yeah. And it is maybe, we'll go, yeah, we'll go in one moment. It's maybe five or ten minutes from uh, Castro Villari, where we were earlier. It's a small, very small town in Calabria. You can see the beautiful mountains in the back. You can see Leonardo. And um, it's a unique town because it's an Albanian settlement. And in Italy, there may be 50 of them in southern Italy from Albanians that came over to Italy maybe four or 500 years ago. Um, it's a protected minority where um, the, the Albanian language is mandatory in the schools here. Um, just like as, as there are Greek settlements that I blogged about about six months ago in Puglia. Uh, so similar with the Albanian communities, you can see the street sign is in Albanian. And everyone speaks Italian here, but also they maintain the Albanian culture and they speak this ancient Albanian language called Albaresh. Um, we're visiting my wife's cousin's... Uh, this is my wife's cousin's husband right here. And he, he wants to show us inside the main church. Leo, shh. We're doing a video. Okay, let's go in the church now. Andiamo. Oh, bellissimo. Catholica? Si. Catholica. Si, si. This is a Catholic church. Now we're going to walk down this beautiful road. I'll show you the nice road and the buildings. I actually wanted to walk down that road, but he wants to show me something first, so let's go this way. Museo. There's a, a museum there that's closed. Cusa? It's, yeah, Cusa. Cusa, Leo. Cusa, oggi domenica, Cusa. Oh, bene. Cusa. Vista, bella vista. There's a nice view over here, so we'll check that out. Real estate is very, very inexpensive here. We saw some three-story buildings selling for about 30,000 euros. And I hear that you can rent a place too here for like 
less than 200 euros no. per month. That's about $200 a month. Life is good here too. We had lunch earlier. If we had that same lunch in Florence, probably would cost about $150. And lunch here with wine and several bottles of beer came to about $60. He wants to take us down more. This is Giulio, vero? Giulio? Giulio. Giulio. Huh? Oh. Looks like that's a statue of an Albanian war hero. Fourteen hundreds. Park for children down there. Dove andiamo, Giulio? Oh, he said there's something beautiful down there. I'm not sure what he said, but. I don't know what is beautiful, but we'll see soon. Do you speak English, Julio? Yeah, I'm both, both. Both. Ti piace questo paese? He likes this town. Padre Pio, Padre Pio, quella rete. Sì, sì, lo so. Piazza. Sì. Dopo c'è una strada, se vuoi andiamo sopra, dopo a casa. di Padre Pio? Sì. A chiesa?
bravo il prescenetto un migliore l'ha fatto a tutti prescenetto eh. oh, me, montagna man. Che è la patatina, eh? Ah, okay. eh? Bellissimo. So, it's possible Padre Pio was down here at some point. Poi? Padre Pio? Sì. Pio? Pio? Pio, Pio, Padre Pio. Okay, now we're going to head back. Aria fresco, vendo. Leo, tutto bene, Leo? Stasera Civita è un posto bellissimo, tutti i turisti, bellissimo. Turisti? Sì, qua? turisti, Civita, Civita, pieno di turisti. Ma vale, c'è ristorante, musei, posti belli, mm. montagna, feste, feste. Dopo andiamo stasera, andiamo, mangiamo pizza carne, quelle che vuoi. Vuoi pizza? Eh, andiamo e mangiamo dopo la pizza stasera. Ah, preferisci pizza? Eh, eh, pizza, carne, pesce, quelle ah, che bene, vuoi bene. tu, quelle che vuoi. Dove? A ah, Civita, Civita. Ah, Civita è un altro Civita. paese? Sì, sì, è un altro paese. E qua 10 minuti con macchina, 10 minuti. Ok, Giulio vuole andare tonight per some nice pizza, about 20 minutes from here, e by qua, car, eh, to a town called qua, Civita. Eh, Qua siamo a Frescinetto. <coughs> First time I'm meeting Giulio, he chops wood for a living. About two hours away from here every day, he travels chops the wood and then comes home. Vero? Sì. You chop the wood? Vero. È difficile? Difficile. It's difficult. Very, very hard on him. Here just for today. Tomorrow we leave, and I wanted to chop wood with him. And I asked if he can check with his boss. I thought it'd be a good experience, but uh, we couldn't make it happen, unfortunately. Sleeping. Dormire, bambino. Stangato, stangato. E vai sole.
I need to change Leonardo's position. Hold on one second. Julio, sí. just hold, hold this for me. No, no, you can keep it towards me, it's okay. Okay. Leonardo is a trooper. He's been he's been to Italy six times, six or seven times. He's gonna be two years old in a couple weeks. He's a trooper, he's been all over Italy. He loves to travel, he loves airplanes, he loves trucks, <laughs> loves motorcycles, loves cars. But he does require naps. And he loves Italian pasta. See the walls here? Two walls of the church. All right, now we're gonna walk down that street that I wanted to take you through earlier. It's a very beautiful street. the stone. Um, I don't see many people out. Perché perché persone non fuori? All the people are sleeping. Oh, okay. So, I think about 6 o'clock p.m. they come out. But right now, everybody hangs out inside, takes naps, just relaxes. The beautiful street here. Where you can see another street sign that's in Italian and then underneath in Albanian.
<laughs> All right, it's a good time to click off. Hope you enjoyed it. Check in with you later.